Representative. Um, all right, uh, Mr. Giuliani, I, I think that's uh, the questions for you. I know uh, Jenna Ellis asked uh, to say something. I'm not sure what, but uh, what, what is it you wanted to say? You have some kind of closing statement? Thank you. Um, so, and I appreciate all of the <coughs> members of the panel. And uh, typically what um, I've done before uh, two other states is to explain uh, the Constitution and to explain your duty. Um, however, in this particular uh, legislature, it's very apparent that the circus has only been from one side. The witnesses that, you've, that have appeared before you today have done so as honest, sincere, and forthright citizens bringing concerns to you. And when you are saying that there are concerns, but only looking forward, you're not doing your constitutionally obligated and mandated duty. And what we're here to do today is to present to you the evidence that we've been able to do in the last four hours. Uh, Mayor Giuliani is very correct that this is only a sample, but no honest person can hear these citizens of your own state today look at what happened in Wayne County with the bullying of the two GOP Board of Canvassers when they didn't want to certify the election and can let this proceed. What the Constitution obligates you to do is to take back your plenary power because the certification was false, clearly. And you can do that and you should do that because you have an obligation as state legislators. Now, normally when I've testified in front of state legislators, it's about policy and it's about legislation. Uh, this isn't about policy, it's not about politics, it's not about Democrat versus Republican, it's not even about President Trump versus Joe Biden. This is about election integrity. This is about making sure that the people of the state of Michigan are not disenfranchised based on fraud and corruption. That's the reason that we are here and I asked you at the very beginning to put aside your party and your preconceptions to listen honestly to the people who've appeared before you. Now, I've been a part of many court trials, and you as the fact finder, finders, of course, can determine and assess their credibility. They have sworn affidavits that they all indicated to you they swore under penalty of perjury. That's actually a very big deal for a citizen to come forward and do that. They're doing this because they're patriots and because America cannot function and exist without free and fair elections. Our founders understood that and that's why they obligated you to be the last guardians of that process. What we're asking you to do is not something that is unheard of. It's not even something that hasn't been contemplated by our United States Supreme Court, which held in that 1892 case that was then cited favorably in Bush v. Gore, that this is your plenary, meaning absolute, power. And if you, after an investigation, find that you want to certify the results, that is your prerogative. What we asked initially in the filing of our lawsuits, which, Representative, there were only three initially. It's not true that there were 39 and uh we would appreciate the facts being straight there are 39 we have let's hey not from the trump representative campaign. let's continue uh, uh, not from the trump campaign and other concerned parties have certainly brought forward lawsuits for election integrity on their own and we may have similar interests but uh the campaign doesn't represent their lawsuits but what we asked initially was to simply stop the certification because we had significant, not just concern, but actual evidence. And what you've heard today is not just a speculation, it's not just concern, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's people who were there, who were eyewitnesses, who were telling you what they saw. This was election officials who have violated the laws of your state that you as the General Assembly passed in order to preserve election integrity. There are two different tracks. You have the laws of the state that election officials on the ground are supposed to adhere to, and then you have the issue with Dominion. Now, absolutely, the mayor is right that you need to audit those machines, but you have more than enough just based on the election official 
absolute fraud, absolutely ignoring the laws of this General Assembly, the laws of your state, to reclaim your authority. That is your duty. It's your constitutional obligation. And that's why we are in front of you. So I'm happy to answer any questions on the constitutionality, on anything, but I would, I would simply urge you that this is not about policy, it's not about politics, it's not about Democrats versus Republicans. This is about making sure that we are not the generation that is the weakest link in America that does not preserve and protect our free and fair elections and our right to select our commander in chief into the next generation. That's what this is about. Thank you.